Hello, it's Katrina Kavanagh here, the Chief Empathy Officer of Kindness on Purpose. I wanted to share something today. Today, I, as I went about my day, as and often this happens because I'm in the world of therapy. So as I listen to people, as they share with me what's happened in their life, I'm reminded of just how unkind people can be to each other. This unkindness comes from suffering. The people, For people to hurt people, they have to be hurting themselves. And I just felt um, a little bit affected by it today. I'm a human being and, of course, you, know, you get affected by the stories that you hear. It would be easy for me to fall into a state of despair over humanity. But I choose not to. I choose not to do that. I, I choose to see people's acts of unkindness as a sign of their suffering. And I also choose to bring my focus toward the acts of kindness that people do for each other. I believe that we are all born kind, that we are all born with a an innate, innate sense of empathy and connection to others' emotions. We know that through the science is really clear, babies are born with an ability to uh, their brains mirror the emotional state of their caregivers. So we know that um, babies are born with that sense of a connection instantly. Now to survive the world, we along the way lose our sense of connection to empathy sometimes. If it's not, if we need to survive, if we grow up in a, in a world, in a family or an experience where we get hurt, um, where we've got um, parents or carers that hurt us, we, in, in an act of survival, we shut off from empathy to varying degrees. Um, <clears throat> sometimes when we're raised in a family where the greatest focus is on only our needs and our needs only. We also lose our connection with um, a sense of empathy, a sense of connection for others. So I understand why. I understand why this happens. And um, does it affect me? Yes, it does sometimes. Has it affected me today a little bit? I guess that's why I'm prompted to make this video. But I'm going to choose, like I said, to focus on kindness, to understand that the reason why this happens and to do all I can do, both in my life every single day, but also, of course, with Kindness on Purpose, the Kindness on Purpose movement, to do all I can to change the next generation of children so that they have greater resources. When people hurt them, they've got ways of actually looking after their feelings so that they can have experience, you know, um, being hurt, but they can also do so and hold on not lose, but hold on to their sense of empathy and connection to others. It is possible if only um, our children and adolescents have the right skills to be able to maintain that connection whilst managing their emotional state. Um, so I'm, I'm holding hope. I'm determined. Days like today make me even more determined. So I, I hope that you will um, do all you can in your own life to seek kindness, to be kind. And when you're not kind, to understand that the only, the best way forward is to say sorry, but to back up those words with an actual apology. Um, that An apology for me is a, is a series of behaviours where you do all you can, no matter how long it takes, you do all you can to help that person or those people be restored um, to their prior level of functioning uh, before you hurt them. So I send this message to you. Um, may we be joined, united in the Kindness on Purpose movement and take care, be kind to yourself and others. Bye-bye.